I just don't like the feeling around them. It just feels, I don't know. Hopefully you'll go fix it. <laughs> my mother doesn't even talk to you because of her. I've tried to cross my T's and dot my I's to fit in with this family, from finding out how my mother-in-law cooks to getting the right presents for Gia. And I still have a really hard time being accepted. Why are you upset? I don't know. I just feel like when we're around them, it's about just you. And it's like, hello, there's your whole family over here. I'm his wife. And it's like, just let us have Joey. And you just stand over there, but just let Joey be with us. And like, your mother didn't say goodbye to us. She just left with you and whatever. But it's like, everyone just, I feel, needs to realize that you are with me and we're there together. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like they think that I have done this when I haven't done this. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have gone to the meet. And I feel that I get the cold shoulder and I'm getting the looks. My mother's wrong. When you're upset, you make me upset. It yeah, but then they're gonna blame me that you're mad because I'm upset. You're the one that doesn't want to talk to them ever, not me. I'm pushing everyone to talk. The thing is, I have like a soft heart. I want to give in. I want you with your mother, and I want you with your sister, and I want the kids together. But I don't want it to be. Joe can have his family as long as Melissa gets treated like shit. So unless I take everyone's shit, we can't be a family. And you know what? I'll do it. <laughs> because I want my husband to have his family. Listen, you know it's not I mean? you. It's not, I know you want to be, but how can I respect my family if they don't respect my family? You get it? I haven't answered the phone from my sister. You know why? Because she's wrong. I didn't have to write a letter. Because I'm not guilty. When I talk to my sister, she's going to have to apologize to you. It's not just me, her brother. It's you. You're the one that's been taking the abuse. Any one of her recipes, and what's the big deal if it is? You know, I don't want people thinking that they're her mom's recipe because they're not. You know, they're from my immediate family. So. I got you, but I, I get it. I don't want you to get so, like, like, I'm sure she wasn't trying to insult you. I'm sure she was just saying, oh, we make that too. Obviously, they've been hanging out a lot, Melissa and Kathy, so she's gonna stick by Kathy's side. So, Melissa, are we okay or are we, are we not okay? Between you me know? and you, what I'm, what I'm trying to say to you, between me and you, and I'm, I'm you know, me and you had like a little tiff. We had our little problem, okay? Then you and Kathy had a little problem. You had a little thing with Caroline. You had a little thing with Jacqueline. You need to sit back for a minute maybe and say, what am I doing wrong? Because why am I having an issue with everyone? Oh, really? Something bothers you, Melissa. You should ask me. I'm sick of if this bothers you, if this bothers you. Well, don't just, do anything to anybody that anyone's going to get bothered. Just sit back and I'm say, maybe it's me. Maybe, maybe I'm doing something no, wrong. Well, first of all, if something bothers you, Melissa, you should ask me. I wish nothing would happen that any of us would be bothered by anything. We should all just be okay. Like, I'm sick of if this bothers you, if this bothers you. Well, don't do anything to anybody that anyone's going to get bothered. If you have a problem, say it to the person and done and be done with it. Like, don't hold grudges. I don't hold grudges. Well, I, and I agree with that. I'm not a grudge holder at all. I'm the, I'm the person who I quickly forgive. But maybe I can see one or two things. But if they're saying there's like a list and people what constantly list? have a list of, I don't know. But yeah, no, they, Caroline just they said, have a list like, okay, you did this to me. Then you did this to me. I didn't me. do anything. The only, the only thing Caroline was saying is about the cookbook. That's the only thing. Next, Jacqueline. I've never had a problem. You know, like I said, there's things that's been bothering me about Jacqueline. She brought up the article to me. Am I going to jail? Are you kidding me? Like, why would you? If you're supposed to be one of my best friends, I can't even believe you would ask me something like that. And the day before, I talked to her. So someone got in her head. And with Caroline... Who's someone? I don't know. I don't know. She's her own person, but you never know. Maybe Caroline's saying stuff to her. And with Caroline, what else do you want me to do? She was upset about the cookbook. And I, as soon as I found out, I apologized to her. What else can I do? I mean, if, if I didn't like if I didn't like Caroline and I didn't respect her, I would have never put a, a like a beautiful. She's the only friend that's in my book. Everybody else is family. Tracy, you can't just keep talking about the beautiful picture. I, there, it was tongue in cheek, funny. It was not meant to hurt anybody. Like. Caroline, I, you know, I'm good friends with her sister. 
Dina. Dina is the godmother to Adriana. It's like, do I love Caroline? Do I respect her? Of course. I mean, but do me and Caroline hang out like Dina and I or, or Jacqueline and I? No. I apologize. What else can I do? I don't know. I think time heals all wounds. Just let it. Well, she and that's needs some space. You need some time. You give it to her. You be cordial. It's a new day. We're all here together. So I'm glad no one's arguing. We're all getting along. No, I don't want to argue with anyone. I just want to, you know, be happy and have a good time. And, you know, I feel like we hit like a breakthrough moment for the first time. We're able to have these really serious conversations together. And all I could think about is my husband and how happy he's going to be. Maybe we could rekindle our friendship on this trip. That would be nice by the campfire with marshmallows. Yeah, so maybe, <laughs> so maybe we could be kids I'm it. freezing. Can we All walk right, back, please? All right. Hey, babe, how are you? Oh, hi, hon. I just saw the news, and I didn't know if it was true or not. What, what came out today, no, is not true. Oh, my God. I got so nervous. I was like, I wanted to see, you know? What are you guys doing tonight? You're just going to hang in and cook dinner? Yeah. Well, you know, if there's anything we can do, you know we're here. All right. Okay, I'll right. talk to you later. All right, bye, honey. Thanks. Bye. What were you talking about? There's just um, something leaked to the press that's not true. Like what? Just not, you know, gee, you know what? Any stress that's out there, you do not have, you know, mommy deals with everything. Like, I obviously know what's going on. Like, I'm old enough to comprehend and understand what's going on. Things happen in life, and now mommy and dad have to deal with it the best we know how. I just don't want you and your sisters, you know, to be affected by it. What? see her cry so I'm like why like why did this have to happen so I'm in mom mode and I just want to love her and keep her safe I want to be there for you you know that and I love you okay Good. I wish I could take your pain and I have it you know it's like breaks my heart so I love you mm -hmm. I love you so much